fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Welcome back, everybody. It is December. It is the end of December. You had have had such a merry... I mean, I hope you've had a merry Christmas. And today, we're going to do a recap of December. And this is very important because this allows us to do our yearly recap here in a week or two so that we can go over how the game was in 2023. Now, how we're going to do this, if you're an unfamiliar, maybe you're a newer player, because I have tried to make an effort to reach out to newer servers, especially lower level players, make sure their opinions are heard. We're going to go by this and we have a grading sheet. Now, if you've never seen the grading sheet, you've never participated in before. Yeah, that's that happens. It's not a big deal. Looks like this. You can find it in the description as well as the pinned comment of this YouTube video so that you can give your responses and that feedback can be sent to the dev team based on what you think, what you like, what you didn't like, and everything in between. And then I share it with the overlords, and there you go. And hopefully improvements happen. We have seen direct change from things like this, from things like the podcast that we did with the VIPs the other day. All this hopefully drives for a better game, though obviously we can't expect perfection. We can't expect just to ever end up being perfect because, well, I guess that's just not realistic. But anyway, <laughs> randomness aside, we're going to start it off. So... If you are unfamiliar with how we do this, I just run through generic things to start with it. So I'm not influencing any scores, but we will start with the officers here, which are Enterprise E Riker and Enterprise E Troy. Now, for those that missed it, Enterprise E Troy had an issue, which actually made her extremely valuable. Had she stayed how she was, this would have been like an A type of month, maybe even A plus, but Enterprise E Troy is solid. She's just necessarily anything special. Now she has the reducing opponent shield health by 600% of the total officer attack begin each round versus non Armada hostile. So in theory, you would use her for synergy with Picard E, which is a new hostile grinding meta. Is it a really good crew? Absolutely. We actually really like it. Her biggest benefit is providing synergy to Picard though. She was amazing, but now she's mad. Now, her below deck ability, which is increasing critical hit damage by 30% versus armadas and hostiles, actually has a little bit more value, especially when you talk about we're adding an isolytic in today's day and age. So, the below deck ability has a little bit more value, whereas as an officer on the bridge, she's mostly just there for synergization. And then you had Riker, Enterprise E Riker, which I am 13 short, but have got to do several rounds of testing with. Increases your ship's base impulse speed by 50%. Again, I wouldn't call this a must-have, but it is very nice for players trying to, you know, speed up their grind, quite literally, pun intended. And then the officer ability increasing critical hit chance by 2% for four rounds each time you score a hit with a weapon. This is a very good ability, in my opinion, just another set of critical chance increase. And I think that that is valuable. It just depends on where you're going to put him and how you're going to use him. Like how often can you utilize him and how you acquired him. Obviously, acquisition for these officers is not known long term, so that could play into your grading. Now, I'm just going to put a generic C, and I'll reveal my grade at the end of the video again because I don't want to influence you. I just want you to watch this and then to see what I think at the very end. But do they have value? Yeah, they definitely have value. Now we get into the features, which is actually the biggest portion of this run. You'll see that I've got not only the overall feature grading, but Section 31, Wave Defense, the facade building, battle simulator and much more so this is a very feature loaded month so let's go over the basics to start so we're going to hop out real quick obviously wave defense was a big issue i do want to remind you that don't grade wave defense based on the bugs and stability issues because there's a specific section for that based on whether you like the idea or whether you approve of the concept i'll say every server that i played on had a really good time doing it though they didn't enjoy having to do it every day so that was kind of a thing. But in terms of is it still happening? Is it still getting used? I do find people still running them, just obviously not as frequently as was happening previously. And because we ran them every day, many of you probably have got a backlog of your Section 31 currency. So you're able to just kind of go in and turn in for weeks and then not have to worry about it until then. But we do have those as some of the additions with the Fleet Commander Faction, or sorry, with the Fleet Commander Sloan and the addition of the faction as well section 31 which i personally love as an addition because it has the dolomite particles that you can start slow dripping and adding ability to upgrade the facade building more syndicate xp which is very very big for a lot of players there you go right down here we can get us some goody goodies which is our strike team officers 
and Carol Freeman. So you've got the PvP metas uh, here, and then you even have some of these that you can go after should you choose, which improve your ability to perform against wave defenses as you rank up in the index. But you do have to do more wave defenses to get more currency. And there has been discussion about having the first couple levels be made easier, especially for newer level players. So think about all those things. And last but certainly not least, because I personally really enjoyed it, the battle simulator. All these things need to be considered as you go through and do your gradings. Now, again, I'm going to put a generic C before putting what my grades are at the end of this video. But I think that all these were pretty, in terms of features and ideas, it was refreshing. The biggest thing for me is all of this was new. Like it wasn't just the same monotonous features real rolled out with copy pasta. It was new. And I appreciated new, even if it wasn't perfect. Now, we do have to talk about the event calendar, which might not be as favorable as a you know, rollout as it has been in the past. I guess it really depends on what y'all think. They definitely did a few different things. Number one, remember that every time we have an event store month, basically all the events change to doing event store currency. Now this year, they actually have had a little bit of a difference there where they're trying to provide, still giving you some uncommons while doing event store currency. In terms of the amount of event store currency that ended up getting paid out, that is going to be a big part of how you grade this. And a lot of you can decide whether it was a really nice amount or tremendous amount, good amount, little amount, or I got almost nothing. Now, having talked to the majority of the player bases in my community or the majority of people in my community that are especially the very active ones on Twitch and YouTube, and I have found that in terms of what they tended to earn free to play was very good. It just wasn't as good as last Christmas, if that makes any sense. So the amount of currency that free to play earned this go around in the event store was quite high. In fact, it ended up being very, very comparable to what we've seen in some of our highest levels in times past and certainly our highest levels of this year. But it still did not hit that vaunted mark where we talked about like last Christmas, free to play getting 600, 700,000. That was just a very unique setting. Doesn't make it bad, but it didn't heat the may you know make that tremendous amount mark but there still was a good amount there were some caveats to some of that with a lot of ticket events having a lot of that currency so free-to-play players who saved up their tickets and this is a common strategy among free-to-play to save all their tickets each month until event store months and then blow through all of those tickets during event store months leading to them getting more officers more ships more ship skins more projectiles etc very common tactic so Y'all can go through that. I'll just go ahead and let you know because I kind of had to hide that one. I think it was a good amount. I think it was a really nice amount of event store currency. It just wasn't tremendous. So y'all can grade it however you want. Again, I'm just one voice. The hope is to get two, 3,000 voices in these things. And we'll see what happens. Was the event store with items that you wanted? I thought they were really good items, but there were certainly things missing, right? People wanted Janeway. People wanted the Voyager. Uh, that's obviously going to be part of the grading there. And that is completely okay. You grade it how you want, and we will discuss that. And there's an ability for you to give your thoughts on the calendar at the bottom. And then there was a new event type. This is obviously optional. You don't have to fill this out, but I'm curious what y'all thought about the new event types called buff events, which were they give up an exocomp and allow you to try to complete the event in a quicker way. I thought it was an interesting idea. Communication this month, I actually felt improved and I generally I know we've been very negative on communication. Now, here's why I say it improved, because the in-game features and in-game news did not really improve. But apparently there was an issue with that. So, a little bit of slack. And if y'all don't want to cut them any slack, that is completely okay. However, transition. If you go by communication, we haven't had one in six days. Basically, we haven't had one since Christmas or before Christmas, except from the official VIP Discord. Now, I have provided a lot of information to the VIP Discord talking about how the plan is to run incursions on Friday, January 5th, and to do the server merges on Thursday, January 4th, and then to do the T uh, territory capture reset like, what, the 23rd of January. We've released all those, which is tentative and unofficial information. But even with all of that aside, in terms of how often we got responses, you know, 22nd, 21st, the 18th, the 15th, the 15th again, the 14th, the 13th, the 12th. Then you had Old Man chime in on the 11th about the issue with Enterprise E. Troy, the 9th, the 9th, the 8th, etc. 
And then also going about the comms, yes, and talking about wave defense issues, I do think that in terms of communication, they did much better this month. Now, I am not trying to advocate that they deserve like an A grade and they did absolutely incredible, but I will say that for me, it's important to give, you know, acknowledgement when I see improvement. And that's what I personally saw. Because we've been grading, if you don't remember, we've been showing y'all the grades recently of how these months have been turning out. And communication stability have been constantly getting absolutely abysmal grades. I mean, they've been getting horrible grades. Just to throw it up on the screen, just to let you see for yourself, this is all going up to October. As you, as you can see, communications and stability have been failing with D's and F's. You haven't had a C month since the very beginning of the year. I'd actually argue that it probably is back to being a C month this year, uh, this month, but I'm very curious to what people say. I would encourage you to do your grading based on what the rubric says, you know, sparse communication, solid communication, good use of in-game news, social media, keep players informed. I don't think we've had a single month where I can name that's happened in years or right here. So basically base it based on that and then that finally brings us to the big one the big kahuna and the as you can see continual problems stability this month also had huge stability issues with new features to the point that when they rolled out the 2024 roadmap which i am excited about they talked about the roadmap needing to focus more on quality over quantity and stability of course remaining an issue i will not be surprised if again this is loaded with d's and f's Whereas in the past, we've even had solid stability months. Believe it or not, it's happened. I have proof because we started tracking stability back in May. And C is solid. So it's just gone downhill. Bad. Hopefully, we see an uptick of this starting in 2024. But this is the basics of the grading rubric. And now, you know, I'm not going to submit any of that because I just hit a bunch of C's and I don't want to... Even if it's just one vote amongst thousands, I don't want to fudge any results. So if you're curious what I ended up grading things as, here's where I do it. I'll actually do mine right in front of you. So I am currently at level 49 on a U.S. server. Here's what I did on the officers. I think the officers are a solid C. Truly do. Neither are must-haves. I'm going by how the rubric is, but would be nice to have an upgrade eventually. Mostly I want to have Riker eventually. For his officer ability because more criticals is always nice but i don't feel the need to like have them now so i gave them c's so two out of four points feature grading y'all might not like me but i gave it an a plus i think this month's features as concepts as long as they don't become forgotten pieces of technology are fantastic i think wave defense is a great new refreshing feature that in every server that i play on people have enjoyed it now does that make it enjoyable for everyone no and this is also why I've made such an effort to reach out to the newer players in the game so that they can give their opinions on it. But Section 31 Faction and Fleet Commander Sloan. Fleet Commander Sloan is meh, but the Section 31 um, Faction I find is extremely, extremely good. And that's because it's leaking dolomite particles, which is primes for free for players. I think that's very valuable, as well as more Syndicate XP. And then the PvP meta, wave defensive facade as a concept, I think were fantastic. And I personally love the battle simulator, but I'll also understand if you don't give a flying flip about it. I thought it was enjoyable, even though it was small and inconsequential. Like in terms of the percentage of my overall feature grade, it's like 5%, but I still liked it. So anyway, that means I gave it five out of four points. And I understand if you watch this and go, Rev, you're crazy. That's completely okay. In terms of the event counter and the currency, I'm basically basing it off the event store currency that we earned, which was a nice amount, so I give it a solid B. I feel like the events were too crazy. They did try some new events this time around, which was nice. And they've also started getting away from using worms very much, which I greatly appreciate as a veteran player. Was the event store full of items that you wanted? No, it was missing several items, but it was still a very good event store because Neelix. You never have too much Neelix. And I was admittedly very meh on the new event type. So that means I gave it a three out of four. Then we get to the communication, which is again, I think that I give them credit this month for being better. I don't think it was great. And apparently with them having an issue with the end game news that prevented them from doing some things there. But overall, I do think communication was better. I can definitely tell you from the content creation program and from the moderator team, they were definitely reaching out to us very quickly, trying to get wave defense working as quickly as possible and asking for direct feedback pronto from everybody players 
VIPs, content creators. And I appreciated that because it's stability obviously is going to get a very bad grade from me. I'm giving it a D because it's failure to launch properly due to stability issues, but the game was not made unplayable for me personally. If you had it made unplayable, put an F. I will not be angry at you. You are allowed to give your opinion. Remember, the whole point of this survey is so that it's not just Rev giving what he thinks. I want to get what the players think and then share that out. So if you think it was an F, put an F. But stability, obviously a continual problem that hopefully we see changed next year. But there you have it. That's all of it. If you got thoughts, comments, etc., let me know in the comment section down below where, I, where also you can find the link for this and hopefully more fun things. And finally, last but not least, like the video. It helps out the channel greatly. Sorry this video got a little bit long, but this was a very big month between the holidays, not getting enough for Christmas, and the month overall. So lots to cover. Hope you enjoyed it. Live long and plunder. Stay safe with their Space Cowboys. Deuces. That's me. Catch you on the next video, which will be tomorrow, as well as our next live stream. See you then. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.